Hi friends, welcome to the cryptography with Python tutorial series. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to hash or digest a text or a string using SHA hashing algorithm. So I have already created a tutorial for this, but the thing is that that one was old and uh, what I did was that I used different modules and methods of doing it. So in this one, I will be using completely uh, new or different modules and techniques. So if you're interested, then keep watching. So in here, what I did, I have already tightened this uh, script in here. The first three lines, what I do is that I import the modules or the submodules necessary for this script in here. So the first thing it does is that it says from the cryptography.hazmat.backends import this default backend. After that, what it does is that it says from the cryptography.hazmat.primitives import the hashes submodule and at last it imports the base64 module because once we digest text it in order to show it on the screen we have to encode it because if we don't then it's kind of gibberish and it wouldn't make any sense if you print it on a screen so that's why encoding it is important and in this one we will use base64 to encode it now in here what i do is that the first thing i do is that i get an object it's named digest and notice this hashes submodule that I imported in here. This time I'm using this hashes submodule and I'm using this hash function of it. And for the parameters of this function, I type in this hashes dot sha two fifty six. So it specifies the version of sha that I will use or how many bits it will use, which in this case is two fifty six. And it also requires a backend. For this, I use this the default backend which I imported from in here. The other thing that I do is, one thing by the way is that you can also use different versions of it. So it is 256 right now. So if I do this, you can see that I can use 384, 256, 224, 512, 1, it doesn't matter. So for this one, I will use 256. So those were the diff uh, versions available, different versions of SHA available. The higher, the better, the more secure it is. So it depends on what uh, your computing powers are or what your uh, or what Ever you want uh, to encrypt or sorry to hash and uh, it depends on what your requirements are so use the one that's best suited but no but one thing to understand is that the higher is the better because it gets more and more secure and what I do in here is that this is the digest which I created in here and in here I'm saying update it so what it will do is that it will update that digest with this string in here so this is string is Python is the best programming language so what it will do is that it will add this text to this hash in here, which is SHA-256. And in here, I'm creating a new object. It is called message digest. And what it does is that, again, notice this digest in here, which I specified. This time, I'm using the finalize function of that. So what this finalize does is that it's finalizing the digest. So what it does is that it says I am done updating, which I did in here. So in here, what I did was that I updated using one string. However, I can have four or five or as many as I want strings in here. All I have to do is add this update at the end of it and specify the string. So this finalize in here, it means is that, uh, what it means is that I'm done updating this uh, digest in here. What you can do is that you can finalize it. What do I mean by finalize? I mean hash it or digest it. Once you do it, I store it in this object in here or this variable called message digest. In here, I'm saying print it. So the first thing it does is that it prints the length of this message digest, which in this case is 256 bits, but it shows it in bytes. So it is uh, 32 bytes. In here, I'm saying, again, print the length of it. However, this time multiply it by eight so that we can see it in bits, which in this case, again, is 256 because we specified it in here. Next, what it does is that it says, it uses the base B64 encode function of the base64 module, which we imported in here. And then for the function, sorry, for the parameters in here, what I do is that I pass this message digest object in here from which we got from here, which holds the digest of this string in this one. So what it does is that it base uh, 64 encodes this digest in here and it prints it. As I mentioned previously, we need to base 64 digest it because, sorry, base 64 encode it because if we don't do that, then what it will do is that whatever we see the output, it will be gibberish and you wouldn't be able to read it. That's why 
we base 64 encode it it doesn't have to be base 64 you can use other encoding me mechanisms or techniques but however in this one i will use this base 64. so let's run it in here you can see that the first thing it does is it says message digest so this is message digest in here then it specifies the length of the message digest so what it does is that it says 32 bytes in here it multiplies it by 8 so 32 multiplied by 8 it's 256 because one there are 8 bits in one byte so that's why we are multiplying 32 by 8 so that we get the length of it in bits after that it says base 64 encoding and this is the base 64 encoded uh, digest of this string python is the best programming language so let's make a change to it let's add another uh, exclamation point to it and run it notice that the digest again has changed the digest has changed however this length is the same because we have specified this length in here so the length will remain static however it doesn't matter you make a small change or a big change it will completely change the function now another thing that you can do guys is that uh, you can as i mentioned previously you can use different versions of it so this time let's say you are using sha 512 so it should show us 64 bytes yes so you can see that it says it's 64 bytes and 512 bits which we specified in here notice the hash or the digest also increased so it's length here it's twice the size of sha 256 so as i mentioned previously the higher the better because it, uh, it kind of gets longer so the longer um, the higher the version of sha that you're using the output will be longer and more secure so this is it for this tutorial guys uh, if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below and if you found this tutorial useful make sure to share it with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next one